today I'm going to do a little demonstration with some inks. You often see on Instagram and YouTube um, people doing some quite dramatic things, uh, demonstrations with inks. So I thought I would just show you some really simple techniques that are really effective. I'm going to be using these um, inks I got from a company called Diamine uh, from Cult Pens. Um, it's a set of um, sort of samples really. I think you've got about 16 of them but the nice thing is is you can when you swatch them up you see you've got quite a variety so it's uh, fun for a go-to play. Okay so I think we're going to use Little Low which is that one and Little Mickey the first two I pulled out. It's a Christmas miracle even though it's not Christmas or a miracle. So what I need to do is put these in a palette or an egg cup or something a small container because you don't be using them all and then you need a clean glass of water some wesh there um, and then what we're going to be doing is just a really simple drawing uh, in water and then just dabbing the inks in okay right so I'm going to be using a mop brush here which is a small very small mop brush but they contain an awful lot of water so what I'm going to do here basically is I am going to do a horizon a tree I'm going to keep it in the middle not massively interesting in terms of composition but Actually, I might put it to one side, why not? Um, so, I'm going to do a tree in water. So, obviously, it's a bit hard to see where you've been. But if you do it quickly, and you have a decent light source, you can normally see where it is. So. Right, so that's vaguely, I'm putting a lot of water on because I want it to stay wet for a while. Um, if you want to, you can move the water around a bit and that helps keep everything nice and moist. You can see when there's very little loose water on the top of the page. Now this is just something that you will get with practice. Um, but that's it, there's no right or wrong ways to do it. You can do it whichever way you want. You might find a new technique. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go in and then I'm gonna drop a little bit of, um, a little bit of ink in. Maybe just start on the tree trunk. So I'm gonna go in with the, with the blue. So dry that brush a little bit because I want some intense uh, blue. Right, so here we go. This is the, so watch this. See how the water gets sucked up? Right. right, so I'm going to clean that. You do need a lot of uh, clean water. Actually, I probably would recommend getting two or three glasses on the go at once here, but anyway, right. So I'm going to dry that again, and then I'm going to go in with the uh, Now this is the, the little, the little low. Different paper does different things. Um, you can move it around as well. See how the ink's moving there. So what I'm going to do now, you can use you could use a single ink for this. You can use any com color combination. I'm going to just add some in here. Right, so I'm going to just push that around a little bit. I'm going to add in a little bit of clean water, okay? And what it's going to do, it's going to create some highlights.
Now the thing is, there's lots of little weird stuff that happens with inks, and sometimes you can... really enjoy those accidents. Other times you might want to control them. So these colour flowers you can dab out if you want to with a bit of tissue, but I quite like it. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. So let's let that dry by itself and then we'll come back and see how that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try on some slightly different paper and do something similar really. Um, so I'm going to use a tiny bit of this and again Drop some in. Uh, uh, right. You're going to put a little more water. There we go. You see how the water's drawing that down. And then I'm going to get a tiny bit more of this ink and just dump it along the top. Try not to be too uh, prescriptive or perfect because uh, this is a, just a demo and actually I kind of want to show technique not my art if you know what I mean. Right, so there you go, that's it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go in with this yellow, a little low that we needed before. Uh, and I'm just going to start at the top. There we go. I'm really tempted to put a little bird or a squirrel in there, but I think that would be stupid. So I'm not gonna. All right. So, there you go. Kind of it, really. You can see where the white, the water's been dropped in and it's sort of cauliflower. This is the ink I spent on, spilled on my hands. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of interesting things happening there. Uh, again, you could do something really quite funny if you use like bright blues and bright greens and, and did like a pop art version. This is the one that I did with the um, yellow uh, and blue, and that sort of obviously makes a green. Um, it's quite a nice abstract thing. This is really lovely effect to do on like, I don't know, uh, cards for people, you know, like birthday cards, it's dead, dead quick. Uh, and this is the one in in the watercolour, the waterproof ink, but it's on a different paper. It's not on the, the Cardi paper. This is on the smooth watercolour paper. Um, it obviously shows marks up and things a bit more, but that's quite fun. It's you can use any ink. Obviously, for these, you don't have to use any of these special. You don't have to use any special inks. You could just use fountain pen ink. Um, but obviously the technique works for watercolour as well. If you create a puddle and you drop in a, a little bit of pigment in one corner, it will drag it across. Uh, there's loads of other techniques you can use where you tilt the paper and run the colour along it. Um, there's loads of people on Instagram who do amazing things with just water and pigment and it actually looks quite magical, but a lot of the techniques really are very, quite, are very simple principles. Um, that's not taking anything away from any of the amazing artists that use it regularly. 
Uh, okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, and I'm going to poke a badger with a spoon. Bye-bye.